Hi, this is Mrs. Kidman, and in this video, we're going to be discussing how we graph piecewise functions when they include quadratics in them. So we're going to go over two examples. One, when we have a piecewise function that only has two parts, and one when we have a three-part piecewise function. Now, when we're graphing these piecewise functions, it's going to be exactly like it was in chapter one when we were graphing them with linear functions. But now we're going to throw in those quadratics. So let's take a look and kind of review over what we're going to do. So let's take a look at number two here first, because it's only got two parts. So when we look at this number two here, the very first thing we want to do is look at this value over here. X equals two. That X equals two here, or that number two, that tells us where our change point is. So we're going to use the top quadratic on the left-hand side and the bottom quadratic on the right-hand side, or that bottom function. So that's how we want it to look is the equation of the line is going to or of our quadratic is going to be this on the left hand side and this on the right hand side so then let's graph it so x squared minus four is going to look just like x squared but it's going to be moved down four so here's where x the vertex of x squared would be this one's going to be moved down four and then it's going to look exactly the same so over one up one remember it's symmetric there so over one up one over two up four over two up four, and then I'm gonna go over one more for good measure, over three up nine. And this is what we're gonna look like here. So then I will just draw my quadratic. Notice how I stopped here at my dotted line because this line only exists on the left side of that. Once we get here at two, I'm gonna look at my symbol here. So I've got a less than or equal to and a greater than. So this one means I'm gonna have a solid dot and this one means I'm gonna have an open dot. So I'm gonna put a solid dot right here. Then I'm gonna graph the next one. So x minus three squared means that the vertex is going to be moved to the right three. So here's our vertex. And then there's no a value or a is one. So it's gonna look exactly the same as x squared. It's just shifted over to the right three. So over one, up one, over one, up one, over two, up four, over three, up nine. Notice how I only did it on that one side because my line has to stop at that dotted line. So here we go, we're gonna draw this graph here and then this one is going to have an open circle there and there you go that's how we're going to graph it so now let's take a look at when it has three pieces we're going to do the exact same thing the only difference is we have two change points i've got a change point here at x equals negative four and a change point at x equals zero so then we want to draw those dotted lines exactly there here's one at x equals negative four and then i want to draw that change line at x equals zero so here's my other one right there, x equals zero. Fantastic. Now we wanna graph each of these. The way we decide where they go is notice how we have a left side, a middle side, and a right side. Well, when we graph these, they're gonna be the same. This top one's gonna be on the left side, the one in the middle is gonna be on the, in the middle, and the one on the right, the one on the bottom is gonna be our right-hand side. And it's going to be that way for every single piecewise function that has three parts. This is how it's always going to look there. So let's take a look at it. Here on the left, we've got negative six. So that's just y equals negative six. That's just a straight line there. So here is y equals negative six. And then my symbol is a greater, a less than or equal to, so I'm gonna have a solid dot there. And then we go up to the next one, we've got a less than and a less than or equal to. So those are our symbols. And it's gonna be at y equals six. So here at y equals six, I'm going to have an, oh, we're gonna have an open circle here and a closed circle here. And then we'll just draw that line straight across. And then our last one here, we're gonna have an open circle. And this is gonna be when y equals x squared. And we're gonna start right here at zero. Perfect, that's right where our vertex is. We're gonna have an open dot there at zero because we have a greater than. And then we're just gonna go over one, up one, over two, up four, and over three, up nine. Now x squared would not be symmetrical on this other side as well. But because we only want it on the right-hand side of that dotted line at zero, I'm only going to draw it on this side. And there you go. That is how we're going to graph those piecewise functions with quadratics. It's going to be exactly the same as the way we graphed piecewise functions before. Draw a dotted line at, x, at your x equals at that change point, And then you've got your left and right or your left, middle, and right. But this time, we're not going to graph a quadratic instead of just linear or constants. Feel free to check out this next video where we go over when we're given a piecewise functions with quadratics, how we would actually write 
those piecewise functions. So feel free to check out the next video. If you have questions, reach out. But this is how we graph those piecewise functions with quadratics, exactly the same way as we graphed piecewise functions. Now we just graph a quadratic instead of a line or a constant.